Philippians 3, 13 and 14. Um, and it says, No, dear brothers and sisters, I have not achieved it. But I focus on this one thing, forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead. I press on to reach the end of the race and receive the heavenly prize for which God through Christ Jesus is calling us. And today, I am grateful for a new year. I'm grateful for um, whatever lies ahead, like like Paul said in this particular verse. Um, the thing about but the new year, y'all, is, is that it's always an exciting time, you know, like people is coming to, and they, well, they come to the, the end of the year and then they start off with, you know, so many um, good things and good plans and, you know, things that they want to do. But a lot of times what holds us from from getting into our new plans is that we set, we kind of resonate on what happened the year before. Um, while it's good to remember some things of our past, because then it, it allows us to not fall back into the same trap. Something that stood out to me, what Paul said in this particular verse when he's speaking to the Philippians was, he said, but I focus on one thing, forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead. You know, he didn't say that, you know, he for, he just forgot and just, you know, had amnesia and forgot about the past. He said, but I focus on one thing. That means that he actually took his time and dedicated his time. Like, you know, when you focus on something, that's like you put all your time and your energy into that. You know, that's what focus is. Like when you actually focus on something, you have tunnel vision toward it. And what he said in this particular verse is, he said, I focus on this one thing forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead. And you know, that is so, so, so important for us to do, especially coming into the new year. You know, when we have plans and when we have goals and when we have dreams, we have to focus on it. We have to tunnel vision that, you know, and we have to remember that our past doesn't determine who we are. Our past just is something that we lived. It's a process that we went through. Our past is just a process, you know? It's what lies ahead that matters. And the decisions that we make today is what will determine how our future lies ahead, not our past. Our decisions today can cannot affect our past. It can't do nothing for our past. What's done has already been done. But the decisions that we make today is what will affect tomorrow. And I think that that's one of the messages that Paul was trying to get through to us in this particular verse, you know? And another thing what he said that I'd have to just highlight is he said, I press on to reach the end of the race and receive the heavenly prize for which God through Christ Jesus is calling us. And you know that heavenly prize is to live with him, you know, and obey his, we by obeying his word, but most importantly, following those two commandments that y'all know that I always stress. Love God and love each other. That's it. Just love God and love each other. And it's so important for us to, while we focus in, to remember those two things. Because they can determine today what our tomorrow is like. Loving God and loving each other. We focus on them. Fo- go head towards our goals, head in the direction of our goals, but keep those two things at the center of our life, his commandments, loving him and loving each other. And that can help to determine how good of a future we have, (laughs) which will carry us to our heavenly prize for which God through Christ Jesus is calling us. So I just want to say again, welcome back to breakfast in the Bible and morning motivation. I am, extremely happy to to be back here i know we took a while to get started back into the new year but um you know everyone was just kind of getting their stuff together and just closing off the past so that now we could focus on us having a bright future again i love y'all and i'm going to pass the mic over to my buddy dion this morning i want to read from Ephesians 1 and 11, which says, 
Furthermore, because we are united with Christ, we have received an inheritance from God, for He chose us in advance, and He makes everything work out according to His plan. And I just want to thank God for life and health and strength in my family and and God's plan, you know. And just just want everyone to, you know, just let God be God and just let things keep working itself out, you know, with God um, in control. Um, not much to say this morning. I uh, I just like precious a little tired this morning, but uh, either way. Uh, I appreciate everyone being here. You know, appreciate y'all keeping the room open. And Gary and I are languishing, Mike.